Steven Santini was bestowed Hockey East's Best Defensive Defenseman honor, skating in all 37 games for the Eagles this season, tallying a career-best 17 points via one goal and 16 assists in his third year on the Heights. The New York native has been a staple in BC's lineup after returning from injury and missing 16 games as a sophomore. We'll touch a little bit on Coach York. I mean, he's created one of the best college hockey programs on and off the ice here. What can you say to him in the sense of what he's influenced you the most on? Yeah, I mean, he deserves every accolade he's ever gotten. I mean, he's the most enthusiastic and passionate coach I've ever played for. And, you know, despite his age and how long he's been in it, he still loves coming to work every day. And, um, you know, guys feed off that. He brings the energy and the juice he calls it to practice. And, um, you know, he's a guy that we love to play for, and you know, we're going to go out and compete as hard as we can for him. And what about assistant coach Greg Brown? I know he's been very instrumental in to helping you perfect your skill set at the college level. Yeah, I mean, Coach Brown has a ton of experience, uh, Olympic experience, NHL experience, and, um, you know, working with the D, I definitely have a special relationship with him, and all, like all the D do, and he's really helped me uh, grow as a player. You know, when I first got here, I just wanted to, you know, be physical, block shots, um, not be a liability defensively, and he's really helped me develop confidence with the puck. You know, I want the puck, I want to make plays, uh, I want to help contribute offensively, and uh, he's a big part of that development. One of the main attributes that I've really read about you is that you lead by example a lot um, in your style of play on the ice and in the locker room as well. Is that something that you maybe pride yourself on, or is that something you've worked on with coming into it? Yeah, I think that's something that uh, everyone in this program prides himself on. You know, uh, Coach York talks about it. Um, you know, he, he's a big proponent of leadership and um, you know making sure guys are doing the right thing. So um, yeah, I, I do take pride in, in doing the right things and setting a good example for my teammates. But uh, at the same time, that's part of the culture here. So uh, I think there's a lot of guys that buy into that. What do you feel like makes you unique in your style of play? But What's different about Steven Sampson compared to everyone else in hockey? Um, yeah, I think uh, every every player has a niche. Otherwise, they wouldn't be playing at this level. Um, you know, everyone has something that they do extra well. And um, you know, for me, I guess just my effort, my competitiveness. Uh, just like everyone else on our team, I want to win. Uh, I want to do what's best for the team, and um, you know, compete as hard as I can. It's it's non-negotiable every day. So I think uh, you know, effort and competitiveness are two things that. Uh, have helped me and will continue to help me in the future. You will be going into playoffs here pretty soon. What's the one key factor that you think with facing any of the teams that you know you'll have to face in hockey East? Um, yeah, I mean, playoff hockey is a totally different entity. Uh, you know, anything can happen. Uh, you know, it's do or die at this point. Um, so I think it's just sticking with what you've done all year. You know, uh, you're not just going to turn the switch and, and be a great playoff. You know, you have to rely on, on the good practice habits you've developed and, um, you know, the structure that you've formed in earlier games and the experiences you've had. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can just do all that and make a run down the stretch. While Santini isn't noted for his offensive prowess, he has shown that he can create opportunities. He has continued to fine-tune his puck-moving skills, which have shown to be quite an asset to the BC lineup. Despite playing for the most winning coach in college hockey. What do you feel like sets BC apart from the rest of the schools in hockey? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, you said it, Coach York is, is a great influence, but uh, I think at the same time, um, you know, just, just the appeal of the school in general, um, you know, it's, it's a gated community, but it's right near a big city. Um, you know, it's a religious school, which is an attraction for some players. Um, great quality education and, uh, you know, for all of us, we definitely value that because at some point, everyone's hockey career ends and we all end up in the beer league. So, um, you know, you want to have something to fall back on and, uh, you know, to get, to get a degree from Boston College is not something to take lightly and uh, I think a lot of us appreciate the fact that we have that opportunity. With being um, a New Jersey's draft pick, um, but here at BC, we were walking around earlier, the hallways are lined with these NHL alumni. Does that give you any sense of pressure with having that draft pick on you, or is it more of an influence of being around here and getting to see that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's pressure. I think it's motivation. Um, you know, you look at that wall, you see guys like Mike Matheson, Kevin Hayes, Johnny Gaudreau, Pat Brown. 
um, all guys that I've been fortunate enough to play with and now have NHL experience. Um, so it's definitely motivation. You see the success that they've had, and you know you want to be a part of that. You want to, you, obviously, you want to play in the NHL, but at the same time, um, you know, everyone everyone's committed to this team, and everyone's focused on the present. No one's uh, no one's looking past the next game or the next practice, and um, you know ultimately everyone wants to play in the NHL. You know, your time runs out after four years, um, so there is a time limit. But at the same time, during those four years, you really want to enjoy it and embrace it and uh, take advantage of the great opportunity. You were an A this season. There's a lot of younger guys on your team. What's it like for you knowing that they look up to you? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, luckily for me and the other captains, we've had some great captains the past couple years. Uh, Mike Matheson, Pat Brown, uh, Bill Arnold, were all guys that um, really set the tone for us and showed us what it means to be an Eagle. And, uh, you know, we're thankful for that. And we're just trying to continue the legacy that that they put forward and really show the younger guys this is what BC Hockey is all about.